Hello everyone. This is the ninth video of 2018 and I'm going to tell you how I did this look. I incorporated the purple because I'm wearing a purple suit. Well, a suit, a gray suit with purple stripes and this picks up the purple here and I have purple all around here, but it looks really nice. So to get started, I started off my day with the, um, after I washed my face and everything. So I put my eye cream on first and this is the Origins Ginseng. Um, and then I used my uh, moisturizer, which is the SPF 15 from uh, Neutrogena. After that, I'm getting the last little bit of the Sephora Beauty Amplifier um, because it reminds me of the Smashbox, um, the Smashbox primer, and it's, I'm trying to get all of it out of there. So I was using that. And then for foundation, I mixed the Makeup Forever Water Blend and the Kat Von D. I found that the Kat Von D is a little bit too thick for me, so I have to thin it out a little bit. Um, just one pump of this and like two pumps of this, and that's how I did my face. For, um, what are we gonna do next? For uh, brows, I used the Kaboom from Benefit number four. And I used my brow stencil, the Sephora one, which is number four. Okay, so I did that. Hold on, what next did I do? Okay, after I did the stencil, oh, I used the, um, the Kat Von D, the Locket Foundation up here on my brow bone. And it was, what is this? M25 more. This is a little bit too light for under my eyes, so I use it on the brow bone. And then I use the Laura Mercier for the uh, base of my eyeshadow. I use the Laura Mercier, what is this? Amethyst, Amethyst. I use that, Laura Mercier, Amethyst. That's what I used as my base. And for my eyeshadow, um, well, for concealer, because I put that on next, I use this um, NW, NW40, it's the Studio Fix Concealer from MAC. It's almost out, so I'll get a new one. And then I put on my eyeshadow, which I use. This is um, MAC from a couple of Christmases ago, I believe. And I use this on the lid, and I use this in the crease. You can see it there in the crease. And then I sheared it out. Um, I use this pencil from Echo Tools, the Essence of Beauty, from um, CVS, Essence of Beauty. I use this crease brush to uh, put in, I, 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 to put in this dark color here. I just put it in like that. And to blend everything, I used um, the MAC 217, and I used a brown color so that it wouldn't, um, the transition shade. I use this one, which I usually use for my brows. I just put it up here as the transition shade. Moving right along to finish up my brows, I did use the Lancome. What is this? Lancome is upside down. Lancome. That's a brown. Oh yeah. Oh well, the same way. And this is like a little marker. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, you can see that. It's like a little marker. So I just go in like this and fill in the hairs, you know, little by little. I like that, it works a lot. It works really well. Um, after I did that, I did my cheeks, which I used, um, I have my Sephora, my Sephora um, Z palette. And this is a shade, this is a Marc Jacobs shade. So I mixed that Marc Jacobs it's, um, I don't even have the color because I have the magnet on the back. But I use that Marc Jacobs shade, the one right there, along with this uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show one from MAC. It is called Crazed Imagination. I mix these two together. Okay, then what did I do? Oh, did my lips. No, I did the rest of my concealer. So this is the MAC Studio Fix. Pro Longwear Concealer. This is Pro Longwear Concealer. And this is NW35. So I use that under. If I'm not using this one, if I'm not using the MAC, then I'm using that. So 
Then um, I did my liner with my Kat Von D uh, tattoo, tattoo, no, tattoo liner, and it's in Trooper. Yeah, it's in Trooper, which is black. Then I lined my lips with the Kat Von D center. Let's see that, that's like a purplish shade. Let's see, Kat Von D center. I lined my lips with that. And then I use the Kat Von D, oh my gosh, what is this? Is this center too? Yeah. I do use the Kat Von D center, center, um, all around my lips, smushed it in. And then I put the, MAC has a, a color called Men Love, Men Love, Men Love Mystery. I love this. You can tell. You can tell I love it. So I put that just on top to give it some moisture. And I believe that after I used my powder, which was the Patrick Star, Patrick Star Star Powder. Uh, there you go. I used the Patrick Star Star Powder. Um, of course, I powder under after I use my concealer, and then I powder the rest of my face. And that is the look that I'm wearing today. The shade, girl. Throw shade. Um, I also wanted to mention that I am using the Neogen, what are these, Bipil, it's um, a face treatment, it's similar to, I want to say the Kane and Austin, um, the Kane and Austin pads that I have, I have an empty box over there, and it was 20% glycolic, but this is not, uh, this is just a exfoliator, what you do is you Stick your fingers in the little pads. They're so cute. Look at that. You, there's a place to put your fingers right there. And then you use the, um, not this side, but if you can see that side. It's the side you use first. And then you flip it over and use this side. And after that, you let it sit for five minutes and then you rinse it off. So that is all I did today. Or well, that's the look I did today. Um, and that's about it. I don't want to run over my time because last time I had to split the video into two videos because I ran out of time. But this is the ninth video. I have to make the 10th video. I'm trying to decide what it is I want to do on that one. And just remember, if you like it, I love it. 